the standoff begins. I had no idea what was going to happen next. I thought it would just be a standard apprehension or an arrest, but it certainly didn't go that way. I got my eyes on this guy who has been reporting touching people in the water. He just jumped in the water again towards a lake. He's touching everyone, just, yeah, he's not right. He's not right there. The harassing people up in North Eastern between me and the North set of flags. Black hats and black shorts. I just see him behaving really aggressive towards someone on the shore. Is he violent or is he just touching people inappropriately? No, he's not violent, but he's touching people. Yeah, yeah all right, we just keep focusing on the water, I'll call the cops. Good afternoon, Julia. It's Trent from the Bono Lifeguards. How are you? Uh, we have a man uh, down here who's inappropriately touching people um, in the water. You know, they pretend to bump into people, and but we've had, like, numerous, numerous complaints. Within seconds, more reports come in. If your officers want to come to... If you're sending a crew down, if they want to come to the tower, we could point them in his direction. Hey, mate. Sorry, bud. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, good. We, we've been a reporter, yeah. Thank you. In the space of half an hour, lifeguards receive six reports. Uh, a guy just came up to us in the surf, tapped me on the shoulder, said, I don't really know what he said, but he's just, you could see in his eyes, he's so drunk. When he came up to Nick, I just felt very uncomfortable, so we just wanted to make the lifeguard aware just in case anything happened in the water. I know what's going to happen. The police are going to come down here and I'm not going to be able to find him. I can't keep eyes on him the whole, you know what I mean? Half an hour until they get here, and then in the meantime, we've got people drowning. You know what happens? You take your eyes off yeah. the rips to follow some idiot like this, yeah. and that's when you miss rescues. As predicted, the man alleged to be stalking women isn't the only thing lifeguards need to keep an eye on. There's two swimmers in the rear, the guys in the white hat, yeah. It's a girl and a guy. Oh, but he can't really swim either. Oh, he's holding her up. Well, she's going under. I reckon you're in here. Okay. Supporting the woman, the man barely keeps himself afloat. I don't like these scenarios that pull a lot of resources off the water because essentially our main job criteria here as lifeguards is to make sure no one drowns. Who's in the middle of a rescue now? You know, we're on high alert here and, and there's a lot going on, so it's a bit stressful today. Yeah, come in. When the police arrived for this matter, I was really relieved because our main priority here is, is the swimmers in the surf. Thanks for coming down for a swim. Oh, we're getting reports he's touching people on the beach and in the water. The man is spotted under the beach hire umbrellas, but he doesn't get to enjoy the shade for long. I could see them chasing the alleged offender down the beach. I had no idea what was going to happen next. I could see them chasing the alleged offender down the beach. They tried to chat to the man, at which point he left the conversation and they gave chase. The whole thing looked quite surreal. I thought it would just be a standard apprehension or an arrest, but it certainly didn't go that way. When they got to the water's edge, he entered the water and they stopped. And then I later learned that it's police protocol uh, not to enter the water. At Bondi, when the long arm of the law isn't quite long enough, it's time to call the lifeguards. We don't have a boat, but we have a jet ski, but um, let's formulate a plan from up here. All right? Thank you. Cheers. What now? Go. They want to put the jet ski in the water to go and get him, but... To get who? This guy. Oh, why? He's not going to get on the jet ski. No, nah, that's what I said. And then that'd just be dangerous, because it's like, get on, mate, and you just won't. As the arrest strategy is formulated, the man makes his way onto the reef at the south end. You can walk out there. We're not allowed to. Not allowed to. Yeah, no, I think. So if he wraps with us out there, something happens, yeah, then it's an issue for us. 
So the police responded with their water police boat and once they brought their water police boat into the bay, it was decided that it was too shallow for the water police boat to come in close enough, so they needed another plan. The standoff begins and the spectators gather. It started to get pretty hectic down there. Before I knew it, Bill and I were, we were in our little yellow buggy and just sort of looking around going, this is like fully escalating, eh? Like, oh my God. If we can, if we can clear this area, yeah. that'll be sweet. No worries, mate. The police have asked us to um, to remove all, all the swimmers from the water. Yes, hello everyone. I need everyone's attention in the water here. We've got the police's orders. We need to evacuate the water. Normally, lifeguards only evacuate the water. All these swimmers, please, out of the water. Get out of the water. During shark sightings. Why is there a shark? No, there's no shark. Don't Wait. say that word on the beach. Everyone gets scared. No, there's no <laughs> word. What do you say then? I can't tell you. You're seeing a little bit. What's in the water, money? I can't tell you, mate. Uh, I think you can keep thinking. Has to be something. They got the water police boat out here and old mates here just floundering on the rocks. It's an interesting one. After a one hour standoff, Pol Air is called in. When that chopper come over the headland, it was like we're on the set of a Hollywood movie, mate. It was unbelievable. So the police called in all the cavalry. The boat was arriving, that was a helicopter too. It was all happening and it was something like out of a James Bond movie. After 45 minutes, the lifeguard tower begins to resemble a mobile command centre. A plan is urgently required. Are the water police in, are ready to go in the water or not? So the police and the lifeguards came up with a third plan, and that was to send Beardy out on the jet ski to the police boat, pick up the water police officers and bring them in to the man on the rocks. The man has now evaded police for over an hour and a half. Beardy's picked up the two water police from the boat. Okay. And he's driven into icebergs where this guy's perched up on this random rock. Uh, it's pretty shallow in here. Such a weird situation. A jet ski, a boat, a helicopter, scores of police and half a dozen lifeguards. They've just arrested him with force. And, uh, before we knew it, we were just sitting there and uh, he was getting marched off the base, wrist locked with an escort of police. It was, it was quite a full on scene. After an hour and 45 minutes, the man was arrested and charged with hinder police as well as stalk and intimidate. Never a dull moment. 